When you're blind, you learn a thing or two about trust. You learn who to trust. Creepy Cassie! Never gonna find <laughs> Cassie can't see! You learn what to trust. Focus, Cassie. What's this sound? A fan. Good. Now, what's in front of the fan? I don't know. Cassie, sounds are how we see. Listen, tap your cane. It's a coffee mug. Right. <laughs> Excellent. Though you are without sight, it does not mean you cannot see. And most importantly, you learn to trust yourself. Even if that means hopping on the first flight to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. I don't know why I've been having these dreams for months now, and I certainly don't know what's waiting for me at Echo Bluff. But I do know I can't take much more of the torment. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom of it. Considering you're boarding and I'm at the door, we're both past the point of no return here. I'm tired of being told what I can't do. I want answers. I want to sleep. I want my life back. And I want to prove I can do this. Someone is, you know, here. <gasps> In my dreams, I always see a rope, a ticket, an apple, and an axe. Maybe start there? Thank <laughs> you. 
deep breaths, Cassie. You're here for a reason. Dearest Richard, happy anniversary, my love. What a perfect way to begin our tenth year together. New house, new baby on the way. I know this fresh start is the perfect way to complete our family. Felicia. What was that? A memory? belongs to St. Joseph's, not to Cassie Thornton. Put it back. But I need the music box to help me fall asleep. It's a new house. I'm scared to go. <sighs> but I love this song. Okay. I'd left that one buried in the backyard. What brought that back? There it is, the rope. I've always loved this agate's healing properties, but last week when I had a stomach ache, I went to touch it, and it was hot. The stone wasn't in the sunlight or by a heater, and the stones around it were cool to the touch. What really worries me is that it's a protection stone. I've 
always love this. don't prepare you for is that first kick. It feels like you swallowed a big fat goldfish and it's flopping around in your stomach. <laughs> Maybe we'll name her Goldie. me for morning sickness. Uh, I left my purse in the car. Yeah, sure. I'll grab him. Jesus.
Delphi. Text to speech. Patient, Briar, Felicia. 20 mg fluxodine, tabs. Instructions, take twice daily with water. Dr. Richard Briar. What kind of doctor prescribes to his own wife? Richard makes fun of me for it, but I hate the dirt here. There are no worms, for goodness sake! Richard makes fun of me for it, but I hate the dirt here. There are no worms, for goodness sake! Well, no wonder my little seedlings aren't taking root. Tomorrow I'll head down to a bait shop and see if some night crawlers do the trick. New text message from Serge. Hey, about to board. What's up? Not angry, just concerned. Look, I need answers. I just got here and this shit's messed up. I'm onto something. And I'm starting to think I'm having these nightmares for a reason. Message sent. This place feels different. That thing was in the garage again. With the baby sitting on my bladder, it took all my self-control not to wet myself. My nerves are shot. I, I need some tea. I'll be out in a bit. Um, just, just leave it on the bar, honey. Thank you. Each one is absolute crap. I've got a stack of JAMA journals up to my chin. Every issue is stuffed with pompous pseudo-intellectual prattle about the dangers of the medical model and the anti-pharmaceutical She's hard to look at. My eyes can't focus. I should probably tell Richard. I don't want to tell Richard. Delphi, text to speech. Nancy Chang's Chinese Cuisine
who is master of the world, man or the insect? Nature's most existent creatures representing... Does a rope, a ticket, and a goddamn apple have to do with anything? Why that? Why those items? Messages. Phone. Voicemail. Music. Voicemail. Messages. Mic. Unknown. Hey Cassie. This is your big brother. Haven't heard. Evan. Charles. Blocked ID. Yo o char Evan un Michael. Hey there. Messages. Phone. Phone. Messages. Phone. Voicemail. What does he mean he's broke? Oh, broke. Yeah. Uh, Cassie. Uh, Cassie Thornton. Uh, my name is Will Demark. I run Back Alley Art. Uh, we feature. Uh... Hey. So the team. We had to stay in LA an extra night. Hey Cassie, it's Sharon here. Are you alright? I mean... <laughs> hey Cass. Cass, you can't dodge meeting my mom forever. Hey Cass. Hey Cass! Uh, just a reminder that the moving truck will be dropping off my things at noon, not three. You know I ran it- Messages. Voicemail. Music. Message. Okay, Dr. B, what interests you enough to use as a key code? Gotta poke around some. Dose 2. The amipramine has caused vomiting and patient's hysteria has returned. Moving forward with a combination of manoamine, oxidase inhibitors, and tricyclic antidepressants.
rest. I will monitor this situation closely before making any more hasty decisions after last time. Still, she needs her medicine and she leaves her pills on her tray each night. She doesn't understand that she needs to get well for herself and for the baby. I must take matters into my own hands for both their sakes. Matters into my own hands? That's not alpha male or anything. speech the only star I can really seem to hone in on is IC 2118 a faith to be sure but dot the stars are just wrong here the worst part is that Felicia agrees I should try 2118 for that key code With us, Danny. Sleep with us. shot in the dark, but I wonder if that star the good doctor was referring to might be it. What was it again? Why can't I go in anymore? I know, my fingers fumble keys and sometimes I'm a little slower than before, but you can't keep me prisoner in this house, in this body. I don't want any more pills. is going. One. Some kind of woman. woman. Somehow, Somehow connected, connected to the tree. Two. Other people. Seemingly unrelated. A 1940s housewife. Could this be Betty? Some man with a mustache? Three. That song. Four. The noises. Five. Misaligned chakras? Was she having visions too? Everything's fine now. I'm fine. Sandy's fine. Won't you come back and sleep with us, Richard? Daddy.
Messages. Messages. Michael. Hey there, Cass. I just unknown. Evan. Charles. Lot tidy. Yo, oh, oh, how you been, girl? Me. K. Messages. Phone. Phone. Messages. Voicemail. Voicemail. I know it's not the same as being there, but I had Jules record the game, and I think the sound's pretty amazing, and you can practically hear the pitch whistle. I'll send it to you in a bit to see what you think. If it works out, we might be able to stream you some games when I'm on the road. What does he mean? Hey, so the team, we had to stay in L.A. an extra night. I really wish I could be home with you. Yeah, but I hope you're ready for a huge birthday dinner when I get back, because reservations are taken care of, okay? You just meet me at Pastino at 7, and you gotta wear that skirt, yeah, you know which one. Hey, Cassie. Hey, Ka Cass, you can't dodge meeting my mom forever. Just wear the locket and stop making excuses, okay? She'll love you. Promise. Hey, Ka hey Cass. Uh, just a reminder that the moving truck will be dropping off my things at noon, not three. I wish I could be there, but seriously, dude, do not worry about unpacking anything until I get back. I'll bring you a souvenir from Philly. I mean, there's no win. I love you, babe. You know, I ran into Linda at the market. She's one of the good ones, right? Would you believe it? She had a little girl with her. It looks like she's still fostering. You know, God bless her. You should give her a call, you know? I mean, I'm sure she'd love to hear from you. Hey Cassie. Hey Cass. Messages. Voicemail.
I planned on painting my own set of tarot cards when we moved in. Now I just can't seem to do it. The cards and their symbols seem to take a life of their own. I don't want to use them. It's from my favorite book growing up, The Princess and the Frog. <laughs> my mom said she always caught me by old stinky ponds and wetlands <laughs> looking for my future husband. But it wasn't about boys. I fell in love with nature. And the sort of spirits that bind us. If a gem or an herb could facilitate a divine connection, why couldn't an animal have a beautiful soul? First 
The sagebrush is now this. How does Malachite crack? It's supposed to protect me and the baby. How does a gem inside a silver setting just... just shatter like that? key to the playroom. Where is it? I don't need the pills anymore, and I don't need you watching my every move. <laughs> Can't you tell? I haven't taken them in days. point. We're gonna need to talk about this. I don't understand. Is it Richard doing this? Or the house? I don't know how he's doing it. I don't know how he's doing it. I don't know how. I've taken none of his prescriptions. I still see it. I still see it. I still see it. What is it about that tree? I feel it too. Betty, why am I still seeing it?
Hello? Where are you? <sighs> hey, Serge. What's Where up? Where are you? Okay. I'm in a weird... I don't know. I guess it was a nursery. There's bubble wrap everywhere. Wait a sec. Shouldn't you be at 30,000 feet right now? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Hello? Cold. 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 I'm not afraid of you. You hear me? You can't scare me.